you cannot follow football and follow sport and be enthralled in the ways of sport and follow Jesus at the same time. We read clearly in James that he who loves the world is God's enemy. The things of the world, sports and all that is the world, part of the world. Lukewarm Christians who follow sport and go along to the game are going to get spewed forth from Jesus Christ. What makes you think you can escape the judgment coming upon the wicked if you join them in their frivolities? If you join them in going against the Lord in their worldly, ungodly, fun-loving lifestyles? When you go along and you participate in the game, you are just like the world. And you are a fake believer, a fake false Christian who's lukewarm and on your way to the fire. You must be separate. Do not be part of the world. Do not love the world or anything in the world. For anyone who loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Jesus has nothing in common with sport, Tebow or not. He does not. You have to be separate. Those who follow sports are deceived by the devil if they think they can also follow Jesus. Hypocrites and lukewarm believers will have their part in the lake of fire with the unbelievers. You are called to be separate if you claim Jesus. Otherwise, you are a hypocrite. Say all you like, but Jesus does not have anything in common with the ways of this world and its fun-loving lifestyle, nor its spots in the glory of man. People who do that are cursed. The Lord God said, Cursed is a man who trusts and relies on his own strength. And that's what the people of the world do. They rely on their own strength. They think they are the gods of this world. But I want to warn you, if you are going along to the Colosseums, watching the sports along with the Romans, don't think you're going to escape judgment, nor don't think you're going to get special treatment from Jesus when you do the same things as the unbelievers who he is going to get cast into hell. You will not inherit the kingdom of God unless you are separate. If you are going and having yourself entertained by the TV every day, all that ungodly nonsense, all those shows that unbelievers make, and you are going and lighting yourself with the unbelievers, don't think you're going to escape the coming wrath. You have to pray for mercy. You have to pray for mercy. You have to be separate unto the Lord. Otherwise, you're not going to make it, my friend. No matter how much you say you are a believer, you go to church, but you still follow the world and the things the world loves. I don't care, dear friend. Your argument is futile. You have to repent. Get straight before the Lord. Be holy and separate and touch no unclean things. And don't put evil in front of your eyes. 